Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Bear hunters see Bigfoot rip behind tree line. Report number 58251, Class Alpha. Wife and husband find tracks, have afternoon sighting near Hell Roaring Ridge. State, Idaho. Observed. My husband has been working logging in the Hell Roaring Canyon on Pack River for the last two weeks. One day he texted me saying, This is the first day I don't feel alone up here. My husband and I are avid hunters and enjoy our mountain time. The next day I ended up going to work with him. Later on we decided to go for a walk down an old dirt road that isn't accessed with a key to the gate. We came across what appears to be a large footprint. My husband wears a size 12 and this print was a few inches bigger. I have a photo. We never seen or heard anything else that day. On September 22nd, we decided to go bear hunting on the other side of the mountain. We also had a key for that gate. We drove in 11 miles, and to the left of me, there's an old clear-cut but saplings growing and must be at least 10 to 15 feet tall. I see something black and standing tall and moving through these trees. I yell at my husband to stop, and this black figure is gone. I can't find it anywhere. We continue driving, no luck at all. Don't even see a deer. We decide to turn around and go back in the same exact spot which is now on my husband's side. He slams on the brakes and says, what the hell is that? Give me the gun. I hand the gun and lean over him to see what he's looking at. It's a tall black figure with a head, no ears, very wide shoulders and couldn't see the bottom part. There was a tree in the way. He stares back and takes a step to the left, behind a tree. All this happened within 40 seconds or so. He vanishes again. At this point, I have tears in my eyes, and scared to death, my husband was sick to his stomach, almost to the point of being sick. We were both so confused on what just happened. We started driving, and about 400 yards up the road, on his side again, he saw something move at the out of the corner of his eye. He looked quickly and these branches on these trees about seven feet high were moving right in a row like something very tall had just ran through pushing them out of its way. We are positive, 100% positive, this wasn't a bear or person. We're convinced what we saw last night was, had to have been, Bigfoot. Also noticed, we both thought it was odd. We didn't see anything out, and the wildlife tracks we did see were running. It could have been from us, or they could have been running from something else. That we'll never know. Other witnesses, just myself and husband. Other stories, we have two tracks, one from this year and one from a year ago in this same area. Also, there was a logger that said he couldn't wait to leave that area. He never felt like he was alone. Time and conditions. I first saw it right around 545. My husband saw it, I'm thinking close to 620. It got dark at 643, and it wasn't quite dark yet. Things were still visible. Environment. The, this figure was an in an old clear cut with freshly planted saplings about five years back or so, they were getting pretty tall. The rest of the area is super thick with timber and old big cedar stumps about a mile away is Caribou Lake. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Kevin Llewellyn. I talked to the wife and husband by phone. The tracks and siding were behind locked gates. In October of 2016, they found a track about 16 inches long and 6 to 7 inches wide, but was somewhat washed out. In September 2017, they found a similar track with five toes, no claws, that was 2 plus inches deep in drying mud. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below 